this is very nice. I've enjoyed kind of coming back to Windows, and I've, I've been on it pretty much since the Insider build has come out, and I've actually used it quite a bit. I always try and be as proficient as possible with any Windows release because that's what most of the population uses. So I, I want to be as proficient as possible. And I'm, I'm looking at this, there's certain things. I, I did run into like a couple bugs with like some of the snapping, uh, which has actually been uh, off and on. Sometimes I run into issues with that. The UI itself, I would say this, the thing that bothers me the most about Windows 11 right now is this new taskbar. They're using like UWP, and I've obviously done some extra modifications to get this kind of layout and look. Uh, but the UWP or the Universal Windows Platform, they've converted this from how it used to be. Uh, probably one of my favorite tools that I can no longer use on Windows 11 is uh, 7 Plus Taskbar Tweaker. You can see how they've converted so much of the legacy stuff. I think only the little jump menu right here. This is still using the traditional, which you can still modify and, and do some crazy stuff with. If you're on Windows 10, uh, by the way, check out 7 Plus Taskbar Tweaker. It's, it's really an amazing tool. But getting back to this, I will say this is probably the biggest gripe I have. Everything else from a day-to-day -day perspective, just getting around in Windows 11, has been pretty darn nice. I've enjoyed a lot of the experience. Uh, I've been using Linux a ton for this past couple of years, pretty much since 2018 or the final part of 2018. And I've really started to, this past month or two, start to use Windows considerably more. And it's not that I don't use Linux because there's still a lot of tools in Linux that I really enjoy and still use all the time. It's just Windows has started to do something and use a lot of Linuxy stuff. And this is going to sound like blasphemy, and you may want to throw tomatoes at your screen after I tell you this. But, man, their integration with Linux has been pretty darn awesome. A lot of times I wanted something in Linux, I can just pull it up right here. Uh, so much so that I can even do virtual machines. Like, I installed Vert Manager, and it can connect, and I can go ahead and spin up regular virtual machines using this compatibility layer. Uh, and if I want to just do like G-Edit, I can pull up G-Edit and do whatever I want. Pretty much native performance. Hell, sometimes it feels faster than if I was in native Linux. That's how good WSL has gotten on Windows 11. Uh, so from a Linux portion, a lot of times when I'm like, oh, I need that Linux tool, instead of rebooting into Linux or whatever it might be, I can usually just pull it up and then just do it right there. Or sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I've always hated command line and PowerShell in Windows, but Windows Terminal, like just having everything updated to like the Windows Terminal has made this experience a lot better than I thought it would. Like this right here, it feels good. It does not feel terrible like I always dreaded in Windows. And a lot of times, I, a lot of things I miss uh, or I hate about Windows 11, there's still workarounds too that I just kind of age back to. Like right now the in the taskbar, right down here, like this like sound bar, it's like broken. Like I, I try and do like, volume mixer and they're trying to replace the sound to do like this new format and sound and i'm just like oh gosh this is so bad but uh, i'll just go okay well whatever i'm just gonna come back to my windows 7 counterpart and then get my sound panel that i enjoy and then work around i'm like okay i see everything that i'm doing here i'm able to do it all yeah life is good again but I like to just kind of point this out and just say, hey, uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, having the best of both worlds. I've been really working with meshing and melding a lot of different operating systems and getting the best out of everything. And the one thing that I probably say I have the most trouble with is Mac, uh, mainly because Mac just feels like a one trick pony to me. 
and it's not as versatile as Windows or Linux, which a lot of people would view as a good thing because it just works all the time. I know every time I turn on my Mac, it just it's going to turn on, it's going to get the desktop, and then I just edit my videos. So it does exactly what I want, so don't take it as so much of a knock against Mac. But just tying in a lot of the things that I've been using over the past couple of years into Windows and see Windows really tie in a lot of these Linux things, I'm curious to see what happens with Windows 11 in the future. Because Windows 11 right now looks pretty cool. It doesn't function great. A, a lot of anything done with UWM or UWP or Universal Windows Platform, it feels terrible. I really hate it. It's almost like Metro redesigned. If you remember Metro UI from the Windows 8 era, and then I think they tried to introduce a little bit in 1803 and 1809 of Windows 10, those designs were pretty bad. <laughs> they were really, really bad. So it's not the design look of it that's bad, like Metro's design. It's just this new type of thing with Windows 11 that I, I think it's just not baked yet. And I'm using it a lot, uh, a whole lot. Anytime I, I'm going into the integration into Linux has been so much better than I ever thought it could be. And that's probably the biggest thing about this. Uh, yes, I did install like a custom CUDA driver for my NVIDIA that works really well with WSLG, which is a subsystem for Linux with graphics. I really didn't expect it to be so integrated. And it feels like the Linux portion is the most polished out of everything in Windows 11. And to me, that's amazing. Like even when I have mess ups, like when I'm on my desktop here and I'm like, okay, uh, the mouse movement and a lot of the tab movements, I'm just not digging. But I don't really use the mouse much anyways. I'm usually just doing this number. Or if I need like a new desktop, I'll just flip over to here and then flip back. So I still have my, my virtual desktops like I would a normal one. And then I have a lot of like my auto hotkey stuff to emulate a lot of the Linux global hotkeys. So right now this is like the biggest Frankenstein mess but I feel like I'm getting close to a happy medium here as long as Windows patches a lot of the UI problems with UWP, which uh, we'll see, you know. I just want to give you my first impressions of it uh, for using it pretty hard for this past couple of months. All the stuff that you know and love is still there. Some of it's hidden, but it's still there. I would just say the the feel of it is something that's interesting. And as someone that uses Linux a lot, the integration with Linux is probably the biggest selling point for me. And that's weird because I think I once made a video about how WSL could never convert a Linux user to Windows. And most people that use their computer because they want to be private or secure, that's still absolutely the case. Because with Windows 11, the spying and, and telemetry is just as bad as Windows 10. There's no improvements there. But most people just want to use their computer to get stuff done. And that's where I'm at. Obviously, I don't, I'm not a private person. I'm on YouTube. But it is something that I'm looking at. I'm like, dude, this is, this is neat. This is really taking and meshing it, much like I did with Chrome OS on the main channel, and I was talking about how integrating Arch Linux into that, and you can do a lot more with Chrome OS with that uh, installed, and a lot of the improvements they're doing is just mind-boggling. Much like they've done with Linux integration with Windows here, if you really know Linux, you have everything you need right in Windows, which is a scary, scary statement, and one that I think I'm going to leave you with. Again, if you're really good with Linux, pretty much everything you need is right here in Windows. just want to reiterate that because it's something that shocks me. With that, I'll see you in the next one.